Our 10 recruits have successfully undergone training in the field of two major operations and are preparing to take on a third. To get them off to a good start, the numbers have sent their most experienced colleague to instruct them. I've placed a hidden camera inside the room so we can do a bit of spying ourselves. Feel free to join me, but be prepared. You must pay close attention, as Seven never makes his lessons too easy. Oh, he's getting ready to start. Quiet, please. Agent 007, at your service. As you know, your primary goal as an operative is to track down the secret identity of Agent X. One of the most difficult tasks you will face in this pursuit is determining which operation will actually reveal this number's hidden identity. The fact is, many an operative has misidentified the target or lost him completely simply because they employed the wrong operation. During this session, we will focus on a new operation, the multiplication operation. Today you'll be learning what this operation is basically all about and when you should use it. We use the multiplication operation when Agent X can be identified through finding the total. How many of you are thinking, we were told to use an addition operation when needing to find the total? I was. Me too. That's what we were taught. And you're not wrong, you know. Truthfully, many times you can find Agent X using multiplication, you can also find him using addition. But beware, this doesn't work in reverse. You can't use multiplication any place you could use addition. So when do you use multiplication? Good question. You can only use multiplication when the amounts you are combining to find the total are identical. For example, you can use multiplication to find the total of 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, but not the total of 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Certain factors must be present in order for this operation to work. Let's look at a few examples of when you can and when you cannot use a multiplication operation. The agency I work for, the NSA, also known as the Number Security Agency, wants to purchase spy kits for some of its agents. Each of these kits cost $100, and your mission is to find out how much five of them will cost. Could you use a multiplication operation? I think so, because in order to find out how much the agency will spend, you will have to find the total of five 100s, which means all the amounts you're combining are the same. They are, aren't they? So multiplication fits the bill in this case, as does addition, since I could add a hundred to itself five times, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's try another one. Supposing you are sent out on an operation, and your mission is to find out how much Agent 007, yours truly, will spend on a GPS tracker costing $70, and a spy watch that sells for $100. Could you use the multiplication operation to find the identity of Agent X in this example? No, because in order to find the total amount you will spend on those two very useful items, you have to add 170. But those two numbers are not the same. Precisely. So in this case, I can use addition to find the total, but not multiplication. Okay, you have a general idea of when you can and when you cannot use a multiplication operation, but do you know how to use it, or why we would want to use it, if we can achieve the same goal with addition? Not me. Me either. Um, do you use it when, uh, I got nothing. We give up. Multiplication is like a shortcut for addition. Suppose I told you a way to get to Ten's cabin 
That is much faster than the way you know. Wouldn't you want to learn my way? Sure, because it's shorter and I can get there faster. Exactly. Once you know how to use the multiplication operation properly, you will be able to track down Agent X in much less time. Speaking of shortcuts, have any of you ever been with someone who says, Oh, I know a shortcut, and you go with them, and it takes you much longer to get there? Once my dad took us on a shortcut to the beach, we get there right before sunset. My cousin said he knew a shortcut to the movie theater. Well, we got to see the last ten minutes of the movie. Yes, well, we all have our stories, don't we? But most of them go something like this. They took you way out of the way, and it wound up taking you twice as long as it should have, and you may have even gotten lost. Remember, I said multiplication is a shortcut for addition. But oftentimes, the way children go about solving multiplication problems very much resembles those shortcut horror stories of yours. So many times I've seen children practicing for the multiplication operation, and they're sitting there going, 3 times 8. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Using their fingers to keep track of how many multiples of 3 they've spouted off. Recruits. Listen to me. That is not the way it's supposed to be done. Multiplication is designed to be a fast way to add identical amounts, but this speed is dependent on one thing, which is your knowledge of a certain set of facts. There are 100 of these facts, and in order to skillfully and properly execute a multiplication operation, you must know all 100 of these facts automatically without a moment's hesitation. Remember, I am talking to recruits who have already mastered your addition facts, and there are 100 of those, and your subtraction facts as well, also a set of 100. How did you manage to learn all 200 of those? We learned rules, like any number plus one equals the next number. We also learned strategies, like how to use our combinations to help us with subtraction. Sergeant 3 drilled us till we could do them in our sleep. Yes, well, some things never change. Anyway, here at Camp Combinations, one of our primary goals is to provide you with simple ways to tackle the challenge of learning all the basic facts necessary to carry out any operation with speed and accuracy. Now, let's see if we can come up with a few more examples of when a multiplication operation is the proper route to take in tracking down the secret identity of Agent X. Remind me of what factors must be present in order to use multiplication. You'll be looking for the total, so you'll be combining amounts. The amounts you combine must be the same. Spot on. Now perhaps you can come up with the examples. I'm afraid all of mine tend to relate to intelligence gathering. A bit of variety would be refreshing. What about finding the total number of cookies in seven packages that have ten cookies each? Perfect example of a situation in which multiplication is a proper route to take. And I highly approve your choice of number, by the way. Anybody else? Could you use multiplication to find the total number of chairs in a room that had nine tables with six chairs at each table? Yes, indeed. You recruits are full of good examples. Anyone else? How about finding the total number of eggs in three cartons? If all the cartons are full, that is. Blimey, you all are good. Those were all splendid examples of when you could use multiplication to find the secret identity of Agent X, who is a master at changing identities, by the way. That is one reason I am in such high demand. 
and why we numbers need your recruits. Our job is endless, and we need all the help we can get. Let's recap and see what we've established so far. What is multiplication? It is one of the four basic operations numbers use to track down the secret identity of Agent X. When would you use multiplication? You would use it when you can find Agent X by finding the total. How does this differ from the addition operation, which we also use when looking for the total? You only use multiplication when you are finding the total of amounts that are the same. Multiplication also serves as a what for addition? A shortcut. What knowledge must you possess before it can truly be a shortcut? You must know all 100 basic multiplication facts by heart. Well, recruits, so far you have shown me that you are worth your salt and well qualified for this next phase of your training. Let's take a short break. And when we return, we'll learn a few necessary terms that will help you understand this operation more fully. That was enlightening. A shortcut, eh? Interesting. Meet you back here in a bit for some intelligence gathering of our own when the recruits learn a few terms that will help them better understand this new operation. See you then. <laughs> 